in this video, we'll try to address the elephant in the room. What is computer programming? We'll also try to understand what programming might mean to you. Let's begin. We are surrounded by computers today and they don't just come as desktops and laptops anymore. Your phone, for instance, your car, your smartwatch, smart bulb, dishwasher, refrigerators, televisions, the list is truly endless. In a nutshell, computers are everywhere. But for all their science fiction likeness and portrayal, computers are essentially machines that need to be told what to do. The age-old term garbage in, garbage out that has been used in the computer world for a while simply means that a computer depends on you to do what it must do. If your instructions are flawed, then the computer can't do much with it. So, to summarize, a computer must be told what to do and that is precisely what computer programming is all about. Computer programming is the process of writing a set of instructions that tell a computer how to process data and produce results. This statement is quite academic and doesn't give away the magnitude of impact that this process has on our world today. So what are we talking about? Well, something like add three numbers and then divide the result by three. Now that is a set of instructions which will compute the average of any given set of three numbers. But just how do you write these instructions? How do you write a computer program? Well, your computer understands a special kind of language known as machine code, which is what the processor inside your computer understands. This language is made up of binary numbers. The word binary here refers to two possible states, 0 or 1. This is also the same as saying off or on or true or false. This is because Processors at their atomic level are a network of billions of transistors which act like switches or gates controlling the movement of electrical signals, which is what makes it all work. Binary numbers act like states to these switches and combinations of such numbers are used to create and express data and operations. However, machine code for all its speed is not something that us mortal humans can read or work with. That's why we often use the term low level language when we talk about machine code because these are instructions that sit and work at the processor level. To solve this gap, we have a class of languages known as high level languages that are expressed in a language that we humans can easily understand. You've probably heard of them already. Languages such as Java, Python, C++, JavaScript, Ruby, Rust, and so on. But before we go anywhere near how these languages work, you must ask yourself, what does programming mean to you? Well, programming could be many things. It could be working with your spreadsheet in Microsoft Excel, sending an email using Google Mail, playing a game, setting a smart bulb to turn on automatically in the evening, or even using the GPS in your car to navigate yourself to a location. Undoubtedly, computer programming is a huge topic and there's a lot to learn and discover. We hope our video has piqued your interest while helping you learn what programming is all about. And of course, we hope you're now feeling ready and excited to explore more. Here's a great way to get started and learn hands-on. With our outcome-based immersive learning approach, you're fundamentally disrupting the way new age technologies are learned. You'll get to learn, practice, assess, gain insights on your learning, and personalize your learning journey on our easy-to-navigate, AI-powered, skill-building platform, PRISM. Stay tuned for more such videos and explore more about how you can equip yourself with immediately demonstrable in-demand skills that will help you get job ready. And don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon to get notified so you don't miss out on our upcoming videos.